Hey guys, how's it going? It's LCM here. I am at Cinemark today, and I'm going to go and watch A Man Called Otto. I know some things about this movie. Um, I do know the fact that we actually uh, didn't show this until we just now started showing this movie. Um, I do know the fact that this actually came out like maybe maybe around Christmas time, but it was probably like a limited time or maybe just premiered around that time. So we didn't start getting this movie until now. But um, I do know that it stars Tom Hanks and the trailer for it looked all right. It didn't look great, but it looked like something I, I would say, you know, that looks fun to go see. So I'm going to go check this movie out. Um, I am hoping to really uh, think I'll probably have a good time with this. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to leave you guys right here and then I'll give you all my thoughts after the movie. This is LTM and I'll be right back. Okay, I just got back from A Man Called Otto. So, from what I didn't know when going into this was that this is actually based on a book, and then it was actually, this is an Americanized remake of a suite, of a Swedish film. So, I have not seen, I have not read the novel, and I've definitely not seen the original Swedish film, so I will, I did try to look at this film going into it on its own. And buddy, this is a really good movie. It's not perfect. But it is, it, as far as movies this year goes so far, it's actually pretty solid. Um, now, technically, I know this movie kind of came out l last month, which it is January, and it's technically a December release. Then again, I saw it in 2023, so I don't know if I want to count this as a 2023 film, even though technically it's a 2022 film. I don't know. I know I saw this movie in 2023, and it's technically a 2022 film, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of in the middle. It's complicated. Then again, um, we'll go ahead and talk about the movie. So you've got Otto, played by Tom Hanks, who lives alone. He's um, he's a grouchy man. And then these neighbors uh, come in. He's, he gets new neighbors, and basically they try to cheer him up. You know, they you know they give him food. They um, they kindly ask him to give him things like a ladder and stuff like that. And he sometimes helps the neighbor, his neighbors out. And then as far as the movie goes, it turns out. Otto had a dark past with his wife involving a bus accident and uh, the rest of the movie is just him um, uh, with the relationship with him with, with him and his neighbors and just um, and then uh, there's a there's a point in the movie where Otto becomes a hero and becomes popular on social media and um, that's pretty much about it really it's just a slice of life movie about a grumpy man dealing with new neighbors and dealing with the rest of the world and that's it um it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. The movie was about a couple hours, so I would figure we, we'd get off around 2.30. I need to get home at some point. But the movie was really good. My only two problems with this movie are the sin, are the um, the screenplay. Um, I feel like it was there some weak... It, it felt pretty weak to me. Um, but... Um, and the other problem is that... Now, like I said, I've never read the novel. I've never seen the original film, the original Swedish film, so I can't really compare anything so it's like I think um in a way um I think my one problem was the screenplay and the sentimental moments the sentimental moments are not bad they're just not effective enough for me to um um for me to care and it's like you know um and I understand what they're trying to do with this character but it's kind of cliched and not very well sometimes not a, not all of it's what well, well put together but other than that, um, the acting is very good for the most part. Tom Hanks, you know, I've seen this, and, and he kind of reminds me of Carl Fredrickson in a way from Up. Well, and while I've seen this grouchy old man character before, Tom Hanks does a really good job portraying the character, and he does a good job um, um, of doing 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 his usual acting. And he was kind of the he was he was a decent choice for Otto. Like I said, I never I never read the other stuff, so I can't compare anything. So, but I do like the acting. The acting, for the most part, is pretty good. Uh, the The music score is actually pretty solid, actually, because in in the beginning of the movie, the movie has a really nice music score, and it's real. It's really good. I don't know who the, who scored this movie, but it's whoever did it did a good job with it. The drama is all right, actually. The the drama, for the most part, is pretty well done. I mean, I about almost cried in one scene, which I won't say what scene, but it's kind of near the um near the reasoning. Um, and the movie does a really good job at do, dealing with themes like family, suicide, death. Does a really good job at handling those themes. Um, 
So overall, A Man Called Otto is, is all right to go check out. Um, it's not for everybody. It's not perfect. But it is, as far as films this year goes, or even at the end, of, as far as Oscar films go, it's fine. I think that's one of the reasons why it got released last month, because this is a comedy drama, so I'm kind of, and this is a Tom Hanks movie, so I would think it'd probably get some awards. It's probably going to be around either this award season or next award season. I don't know. Like I said, it's kind of hard to judge movies what come out of the end of December, and then they start coming in the, fun, the, the full next year. So it's kind of hard to judge if this movie is going to be in the Oscars or not. But other than that, really decent movie it's a good one it's a good one to check out it's not great but there, there's there's effort put into it and i and while i've seen these tropes and cliches before in other family films or even comedies in general it, it it's pretty good here i give a man called Otto a seven out of ten it's not perfect but it's one i wouldn't mind going to check i wouldn't mind i wouldn't have mind checking out um, I do know that um, there were two other movies that came out this weekend called Plane and The House Party, but I don't, I am still debating on seeing those, which I probably will or will not, because there's actually that four films that came out this weekend at Cinemark. Uh, one of, this was one of them, and The Whale, which, with Brendan Fraser, which I might actually end up going to see The Whale, because that one, believe it or not, was supposed to, actually came out last month, but we didn't, but much like A Man Called Auto, we didn't start showing this movie until this weekend, so... Might go check that one out. I don't know about the other two, but I'm definitely going to check out The Whale. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please subscribe, comment below, let me know. This is LTM Cyan. I'll see you guys next time.